So now let's uh, go ahead and figure out the, um, the the what this city is all about, which is or what it will be all about anyway, which is the processor factories. Let's go ahead and add these. I'm gonna believe I'm gonna do two. Eh, let's add three. <laughs> so. Each of these is going to rely on, and this is going to be a work in progress. I'm going to need to uh, reevaluate supply lines and make sure that we are able to fully maximize these processor factories so that I can, uh, I, I basically, I, I, like I said before in the other video, the whole goal here is to make it so that we have enough trade going out so that I can upgrade and start creating um, the, the, the TVs and the computers. Because the TVs and the computers not only is that where the real money is, it also is uh, a situation where once you get those, you can start sending them to the Arcology, which will solve the region's problems. So, this is kind of the little fun parts about this game is that you have little decisions to make like that. And, uh, like I said, unfortunately, I'm this is the last city I can make in this region, so let's go on there. So, uh, I'm, I'm pretty much uh, stuck trying to fix all of my problems with two cities and uh, I, I want to have uh, multiple specializations for the city and this is one of the major ones right here so this system right here there's a lot of delivery there but I want to create the last little thing I want to do in this contained unit is create a trade depot right here so that uh, these people or that we can sell these processors because we did we don't actually have um, a, a, a unit on the other side over here that can do the tray the do the uh, the processor delivery yet so let's go ahead and change this and add I believe two should be sufficient but we'll see we'll have to readjust it at some point if it isn't go ahead and add multiple delivery units here as well and let's think about this. Do I want to add anything else? See, the, the thing that I might go ahead and do is add a plastic storage lot. And uh, because plastics are probably going to be the limiting factor. And we're going to go ahead and export those and import plastic. Just because, just in case there's ever a shortage, we'll use that as the, uh, as the way to, to get that. So making sure that they accept lo local raw ore going in here and we're going to import I like I, I think I said before I used to uh, make all these things I used to have coal and raw ore plants but I don't anymore so confirming that that is working I don't want to trust it if I don't have to <laughs> so those are both importing so that should be feeding right into the smelting center there everything's closed ah. let's go ahead and add this additional recycling plant now the recycling plant over here is going to end up having to feed over here with the uh, with its materials but hopefully that shouldn't take too long so uh, y you know for the deliveries that is and hopefully it shouldn't really need it this might just be additional capacity that's helping me out so we will see that's uh, that's going to be one of the things to keep an eye on uh, where do I want to put it? I'll just go ahead and put it there. This, the recycling centers aren't nearly as bad as the trash dumps in terms of what people won't want to, you know, stay near it or anything. So, add and add that. And actually, I, I think I will, I, I might delete that because I, I might add one metals here. Plastic, plastic, plastic. Now I'll do two plastics, uh, one metal and one, what do you call it? One alloy. Because the metals, uh, I can actually export. I'll put a, uh, a a metals trade thing here. So, that's okay. And one ally. The other thing. Let's go ahead and add. Hopefully on the other side. Right here. Yes. Cool. I'll add some trucks to it. And, uh... The only other thing I think I have to do is add the or re-add the trash dump, and then we should be able to start simming it a little bit. And I'm, I'll give you a little bit of a, you know, of time to check out what it does and see how it works initially. And uh, once we do that, we're gonna uh, if if this ends up working, I'm gonna have to re I'm gonna rezone this area right here, 
and uh, that that's going to be outside of this loop here. So I'm going to make sure make it like that, and then I want to rezone this area as well. And then eventually we're going to add casinos over here. So let's replace this trash dump, and uh, let's hopefully start this whole bad boy simming. <laughs> God, it's a little bit uh, nerve wracking though. I really changed things in here. Let's go ahead. No, I don't really want to. I was gonna. I was about to add that dump over there, and I, I thought better of it because that's gonna that would add tra uh, traffic over there, which I don't want. Wish I could place it over here, but I can't. And I, I'd, I'd prefer not to place it right here because it's gonna going to affect the zoning. But I don't think I have much of a choice. Though I might consider in the future possibly moving my trash to the other city. And let's go ahead and add capacity for the trucks. I'm looking at this area and actually the, this little loop over on this side may end up being an issue. A uh, traffic issue because of all the services that are coming out of here. So look at that. Four million uh, for this redesign and that's not even remotely finished yet. So let's go ahead and uh, let's start the sim. Let's see how far we get, uh, how far we can get here. And that is officially how it ended. Unfortunately, right as I started that sim right there, as you saw, the game crashed. Um, it gave me one of those, you know, the stupid ass, you know, this program is not responding type of errors, and I had to exit out. Of course, when I loaded back into the game, and this should be very familiar with any anybody who's been playing SimCity for the first week of launch, uh, I had a processing error with my city. So I could not load into the city. It asked me to roll back. I, I did, but I still wasn't able to load in. And quite frankly, it's done. You know, the, there's nothing I can do. I can't abandon the city and come back in. I can't get that city back ever. So unfortunately, we will never know whether the uh, the, the tech redesign worked but i uh, i'm pretty confident it did uh that's what i'm gonna go with anyway <laughs> so um the, i'm gonna go ahead and uh close the video out here if you guys are still interested in watching these sim city videos i'm having a lot of fun making them um my next plan is to show you a city i created uh i basically learned lessons from what I did in this one and was able to apply them and make a very efficient tech city and then I want to uh, try to tackle the challenge that a lot of people are having which is get a casino city casino resort city over a, uh, a million profit per month so that should be fun as well anyway I hope you guys enjoyed the video and with the awful this is your boy panic knife I hope you guys enjoyed the video have a good night